This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. Well, greetings. Uh, today I wanted to do an unboxing video, and I'm going to preface with this video is absolutely a tease. It's just an unboxing of the new toy. It is not an exploration of the toy. That's going to be a separate video and a separate series of videos. But this is an item that I've been really excited to get my hands on ever since it was announced, and that is the Zoom F3 field recorder. And uh, it finally came in, and uh, it, it's got a couple of really cool features. I'm going to bury the lead on it, though. We'll just get right to the unboxing unboxing and uh, and then I'll look at the physical features then I'll explain to you the killer app on this that got me so excited about it so over here we've got the F3 and I've literally not opened the box yet um, I wanted to save that for making this video so let's uh, see what's inside so we've got the recorder and it is super tiny um, that's really really awesome actually so we'll get that aside batteries I knew that was in there and then oh, let's get this open. Try not to break it, but hey, it's mine. I don't care. Uh, let's see. Well, it's very well packaged. So that's always a plus. Uh, let's get you out of there. Ah, why? Like I said, true unboxing video. I had no idea what was going to be inside the box. Uh, so here's the recorder. It's uh, about a pound in weight. Uh, it's Got a little bit of heft to it, but that's great. And then uh, battery operated, um, let's see. So it takes two double A's included, which is always a nice feature. And can we hook up an external power source? Uh, yes, it has a USB-C uh, power uh, adapter. So yeah, you could plug that in and then obviously, oh, it takes a micro SD card to record your volume on it. And then uh, the other thing, you've got two uh, inputs, uh, line one and line two, XLR only, uh, which is what you're going to expect in this. But the idea behind this field recorder you see here, you can take a um, a strap and you can hook it on to a boom arm or something like that. And then um, go out in the field with it and it will record. What is the killer app of this thing that has got me so excited? Well, it records in what's called 32-bit float. Uh, so a typical recording is going to be in either 16 or 24-bit, and it's got a fixed uh, decimal point. Uh, so 16-bit, and I've got some, some notes here I'm reading from, uh, the dynamic range is about 96 or so decibels. 24-bit, uh, it's about 140, 445 decibels. And that's really cool. Uh, fixed point, meaning that there is a point at which the sound can be too quiet or it can be too loud. If it's too loud, it will clip. If it's too quiet, it's going to add noise and if you're trying to you know beef up the gain anyone who's created videos has done this um, if your source was too soft and you add gain onto it you add a lot of uh, of extra little noise to it if it's too loud it's going to clip out on you and it won't record it it's just going to it's just going to obliterate the sound those are both problematic because you can't fix that in post if the sound doesn't exist in the first place there's nothing for you to edit so with the float what that is referring to it's uh, the decimal point can move relative to the significant digits of what's being stored uh, and then the rest of it's expressed as an exponent i'm trying not to get too technical with this i'm I'm on the edge of understanding it fully, but I, I understand the implications of it. Uh, so 32 bits, so it's got eight extra bits that uh, controls what the decim uh, what the exponent is, rather. And so then that refers to that little piece of data, which allows for a lot more headroom. So as I said, 16-bit uh, has about 96 decibel range. 24-bit, uh, which is very standard, has about 144. 32-bit has over 1,500. The implications of this are huge. So for example, uh, I've got my notes here. 10 decibels is a silent room. Uh, 45 decibels is a refrigerator hum. 100 is a busy subway platform. And what you're gonna notice here is um, decibels are logarithmic, which means uh, 20 decibels isn't uh, twice as much as 10, it's actually 10 times as much. So when you go from 10 to 20, that's a factor of 10. When you go from 20 to 30, that's another factor of 10. 30 to 40 is another factor of 10 and so on. So it gets really large really quickly, uh, much like the Richter scale for earthquakes. Um, 140 decibels is a shotgun going off right next to your ear. Uh, 200 decibels would be immediate death if you were standing next to it. Uh, and then for another reference in the real world, 286 decibels was the eruption of Mount St. Helens. 1500 
which is what this 32-bit float can record in, is theoretically possible. Um, people have done the calculations at 1100 uh, decibels. The energy required to do that would cause a black hole larger than our galaxy. What are the implications of all of this? Recording in 32-bit float means that you cannot clip your sound and you cannot be so uh, low as to be inaudible. The lows are impossible to be too low, the highs are impossible to be too high. Huge, huge implications on that. So the uh, only question I have on this, uh, and Peter and I are definitely going to be doing some drum videos using this, um, because what better than percussion to uh, demonstrate this, is how does it work if you're live streaming? It, I know that it records and saves the information so that if uh, your levels are off, you can fix it in post. I don't know what it means for doing something like a live stream or a live video or something like that. Um, I believe based on my research, because again, I haven't played with it yet, uh, that you can still clip it. Uh, but this unit, the uh, F3, uh, does not have any... Um, any sliders or uh, controls for volume. It's all automatic. So the idea behind it is that you are going to be able to, in post anyway, I know that for sure, uh, change your volume levels and be able to adjust that so you're not gonna lose anything on the highs or the lows. So anyway, that is uh, the Zoom F3 field recorder. I am super, super excited to get this going uh, and uh, it will be a real game changer uh, going forward with the videos that we're making. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and you can obviously uh, get the, uh, the Zoom F3. We have it on the website over the podcastingstore.com. We've got it in stock. And uh, so if you're as excited about this as I am, uh, you want to pick that up, but stay on the lookout for future videos because uh, we're going to be exploring this one uh, pretty thoroughly. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, uh, check out some other videos on the channel, and we will catch up with you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.